Hello everyone, my name is Trooper, and welcome back to a, another video. Today I'm showing you guys how to set up a fully custom 5M RP framework with custom mods, map mods, custom cars, custom clothing, literally everything that you need, and it is all automatically installed for you. And that is using the HTNFW package from HG Network, which is my company. All you guys are going to want to do is hit the link down in the description below, which will bring you guys right here to the HDN framework package page. Now, at the minute, at the time of recording this video, the HDN framework package hasn't released, which is why it says pre-order now, but it's releasing today at the time of the recording of this video on the 2nd of the 5th, 2025 in the UK date format at 7 p.m. Today at 7 p.m. But you're probably watching the video when it's already released, so all you need to do is purchase it. And as soon as you purchase it, you will get instant access to the package to download it. You just need to sign into your account, come on over to your account portal and go to downloads and you will be able to download package. You can see I've got pre-order access. So all the people who pre-ordered it a couple of days ago already have access to this package, but you'll need to screen the downloads, click download, and it will download the package. So you've got the package zip, open it on up, and you will see we have already provided a video guide, but because you guys haven't purchased it, you won't have that. And you will then also see a HT network framework installer.exe. And that is the only thing we need to install this entire 5M RP framework with the custom cars and everything. So just double click that exe to install it, like all the exes, you'll be greeted with a setup wizard. Just click next, next again, and allow it to create a desktop icon, and then just click next and let it automatically install the application for you. Once that is done, it will say it's completed installing the setup, and all you need to do is click finish. And you will now see a new application shortcut on our desktop called HTN Framework. We can close the zip on down as we no longer need it. Give this application a double click to start it on up. And here it's going to ask for your product key. So to grab that, as I showed you earlier, come on over to the HTML website, log into your account, go on over to the view key section on your package and simply control C to copy that key, come back on over to the application and paste it in. Click verify, it will verify your application. It will close the application on down and automatically restart it and you'll be booted in to the main page of the application. And everything from here is pretty much automated. So the first thing you're going to want to do is click the basic setup button. This will set up and install all of the basic files we need to create our 5M server folder for HTNFW to install into. Once that is done, it will let you know by saying it has completed the base setup. Just click OK and you'll now see a new folder on your desktop called HT Framework. Go and set up here and you will see it is pretty much installed all of the framework for us automatically and laid it out beautifully. Now the next step is going to be installing our 5M artifacts. First of all, we're going to click this button right here, the select server folder button. And this will tell our application where our 5M server is, and it will save it for all your future use. You only need to do this once. Go to your desktop and select that HT framework folder that it made for us in the base setup. Click select folder. And it will say server folder path has saved successfully and just click OK. Now from here, all we need to do is click this artifacts button and it will install automatically and put it all in the correct locations for us the latest 5M server artifacts. Once it was done, you might see a little window pop up with the 5M server exe. It will close automatically, but you will know because you can go inside of the HD framework folder, go inside the server and you will see all of the server artifacts have been placed in here for us and organized neatly again. And now the next steps is gonna be configuring our 5M server. So open that HD framework folder on up, go to server data and look for our server.cfg, which as you guys know, is our settings for our 5M server. Open it on up using Notepad or I'm using visualstudio.code. If you have a HT network VPS, which is what I'm using in this video, that will automatically be installed for you. So that is what it will open up with. But the first things first is we're gonna to need to enter our HTNFW token shield key. So because all of our framework is encrypted and it stops you from sharing it, if you don't do this, it won't let you load the 5M server. So that token key is the exact same key we use for our application. So very, very simply come back over to the website, copy the key again, come back over to the server.cfg and paste it in between these two quotes. Now scroll on down and find this section right here, the Steam Web API key. Now, if you want to use Steam authentication, then you just grab it from this link and paste it in between these quotes. If you don't want to use Steam authentication when you load the 5M server, you don't need to worry about that. Just the next step you can skip. But once you've grabbed your Steam key, paste it in between these quotes and then move on to the next step, which is grabbing our server license key. So to do that, we're going to control left click this link to take us to the Keymaster website, sign in dfcfx.re account and grab yourself a key. Minimize back to the server.cfg and paste it in between these quotes. And now everything is done. 
Once you've inputted each one of those, that's it. We just need to click File and Save. And we can close our server.cfg on down. And the next steps we need to do is launch our 5M server. So come back on over to the HD Framework folder out of server data and go into server. Scroll on down. And as always, look for this guy right here, the fxserver.exe. Give that a double click and you will see everything will boot up for you and it will bring you to the txadmin page automatically. It's going to autofill the pin, click link account, and it's now going to ask you to sign in to your cfx.re account. If you don't have one, make sure to create one since it is an essential for owning a 5M server. Click continue. And now it will ask you to create a backup password. Make sure this is something you will remember because if you get locked out of your cfx.re account, this is the only way to log in to your 5M server without it. Click register, agree to the rules and click next. And now it will ask you for your server name, anything you want. So it could be your 5M RP server name. It could be your name, literally everything or anything. And then click next. For deployment type, since we're using htnfw for a framework, we're not using anything else. We're going to click existing server data. And now it's going to ask for that server data folder, which I'm sure you guys can figure out from here. Really self-explanatory. So we're going to need to find our server data folder. Minimize back to our desktop. Open that HD framework folder up. Go inside of server data. And this is the folder we need to grab the location of. So right click at the top of File Explorer. Copy address as text. Come back over to TXAdmin and paste it in. And there you go. We've given TXAdmin our server data folder. Click next. It will automatically find our server.cfg since we set that up nicely earlier. And then click save. And save and start server. And that is it. We've pretty much set up the basics. The only thing we need to do now is import our database and install all the custom mods that we can install from the HD network application. Besides just the basic ones that are installed in the setup, you can see there's already a bunch already here, but these are all the essential ones that you have to have installed anyway. So the next step is going to be importing our database. So to do this, as we were already in the server data folder, I'll show you right here is the HTNFW SQL file. That is how we import our database. So to use that, all you need to do is use Heidi SQL. All HD network VPSs come with this pre-installed. If you don't have it installed already on your own PC, simply Google Heidi SQL and download it. Really simple. And then click open. And now we just need to import that SQL file. So go to file, click run SQL file, navigate straight to where we were earlier. So go to your desktop, HD framework, server data, and select that HDNFW SQL. Click open, click yes, and it will automatically enter all of our database for us. Give Heidi SQL a little refresh and you will see the HTNFW database is there for us with all of our tables. Now that is done, we can close Heidi SQL and we can do the fun part, which is picking and choosing the mod that we want on top of the basic framework. So to do that, we can close our file explorer now, come on over to the HTNFW application. Now either we can install all of them in one go by clicking this button, or we can come to the mods list page and pick and choose which mods we want. You can see there are absolutely tons to install still beyond just the essentials that we installed with the base setup. We got all of these vehicles. You can see there's absolutely tons and tons of pages. In fact, there's over 140 vehicles in this application alone. We've also got custom map mods too. We've also got custom clothing pack, which includes custom civilian clothing and custom police clothing. And obviously we've got all of our HD framework mods as well, which I showed here. And there'll be a lot more to come. This is literally the first version. We're going to be releasing updates almost every single week with tons and tons of new mods and features. And our first update to be coming is going to be automating the database setup. So that setup we just did there with Heidi SQL, we're going to eliminate that. We're going to make it so all you need to do is press a button and it will import your database for you. So it's going to make it even easier than what you're seeing in this video. But if you don't want to install the old mods manually, just click install all and it will install all of those mods for you. But once you've done that, that is it. That is our entire HTNFW server setup with all of the mods. That's like 200 custom plus mods with map mods, with clothing, with weapons, literally everything. This is a big rival to Cubicore and ESX and it's something we've worked really hard on. And we're gonna be continuing to update this as the future goes on for years to come, which no other frameworks have. And also no other frameworks come with custom vehicles and map mods and clothing. All they come with is a framework and we completely smashed them out of the park compared to Cubicore. This is a way more advanced framework. So now all we need to do is we can close the HD network application on down. And you'll probably notice that because we haven't restarted our 5M server since we did our database, that's going to give you a bunch of database errors. And also it's not going to have all the mods that we installed because we installed them after we started our server for the first time. 
to open up TXAdmin, click restart and give the server a little reboot. And there you go. You can see everything has loaded nice and perfectly this time. Database has connected and is loaded all of the mods that we picked and chose in the application. So now all we need to do is join the 5M server. So boot up 5M and if you're running it on your own PC, it'll immediately appear right here. It'll give you the option to connect via LAN and just click connect and you'll start connecting to your new HTNFW 5M server. If you're running it on a HD network VPS or any other server host, just press F8 on the 5M menus and type connect and then paste in the IP address of your VPS or your server host and click enter. And you'll see you'll now start connecting to your 5M server. You'll instantly be greeted with a custom configurable loading screen. You can change the images and the logo in the middle right here if you want to. It's completely customizable, but you can't get this loading screen anywhere else. And then you'll be launched into our custom character select screen. Make sure you go through here, create a character, call it whatever you want. I'm just going to do Tom test and we're going to do male. I'm not going to change the date of birth and we'll just click create. And we'll select our character and now we'll be asked to customize our character how we want. I'm just going to save it by default so we can speed on through here. And now we'll be spawned in to our apartment that we get from default. We'll be given a nice little backpack. So what we're going to want to do is open our inventory. And we're going to want to unzip our backpack by just clicking use. And you should see we're now opening our backpack. And we should be given all of the essentials that we need to start role playing in our city. And there you go. We've got some food. We've got some water. we got our ID. we got our radio. we got our phone. Literally everything that we need. We can press M to open our phone. Or we can change the key binds. Literally everything in this server is completely custom and built from the ground up. And now I'm sure you guys are thinking, well, I don't know how to use any of the framework because it's all new to me. Don't worry, we've got you covered. We've got tons of documentation right here for you guys to read through. We've got key bind configuration for the core. We've got a list of commands. We've got configuration for Discord webhooks. We've got a bunch of different jobs here for the civilian jobs. We've got all the whitelisted jobs here. We've got how to set yourself as admin. We've got a bunch of different features here and we've got some misc features as well, such as dumpster diving. And we show how to use all the criminal features. There's still a couple of things we need to add to here and we'll be updating it as we go. But this should get you started for now. And any questions you can be sure to ask our support team who will be more than happy to help. So be sure to check this out. Go to the link down in the description below and purchase HTNFW and get rid of that old Cubicore ESX framework and swap to the new latest and greatest framework 45M. HTNFW.